Hey friends! A big welcome to all of my new subscribers that got here from the reblogs video. Not sure if you got a chance to look around, but my channel's not just about laughing, it's also about learning. So this week, I want to break some stuff down for you, and I was very much inspired by the controversy surrounding Miss America. Now, if you're not caught up, we crowned our very first Indian American Miss America this week. Her name is Nina Dulavari, and I hope that I'm saying her name right. Now, as a woman of color, I was very excited about this because traditionally speaking, the Miss America pageant really champions European beauty standards. That all American girl next door, blonde hair, blue eyes. It was very exciting to see another woman of color win this prestigious award. Now, of course, not everyone is excited about this, and when I say not everyone, I mean the racist. They took to Twitter to voice their frustrations, calling her all different types of nasty slurs, saying that she was a terrorist or a member of Al Qaeda, worked at a 7 Eleven, or just wasn't American enough, and 9 11, ma, racist. Racism. Blech. Now, of course, I wasn't surprised because I live in reality and I'm also a black woman on the internet. I mean, it's so bad over in my inbox that I actually have filters to keep the N word from being in my face all day. I'm, I'm not joking. So one of the major complaints on Twitter was that Nina is not American even though she was born in America. And I really found this ironic considering the fact that our country was founded by immigrants who then got here, were welcomed by the Native Americans, and proceeded to kill them and force them onto reservations. So unless you are actually Native American, you really don't have any place to call anybody not American. And that's not even taking into account the fact that this country was built by slaves that were stolen from Africa. I mean, how dumb and racist do you have to be to call someone not American just because they aren't white? Newsflash, everybody in this country is a mix of something else. As it turns out, Nina is Indian American, meaning her parents are of Indian descent, meaning from India. So she's not Arab, Muslim, and I'm pretty sure she's not a terrorist, but that didn't stop everyone on the internet from saying so. But it's not just stereotypes on the internet that affect people of color and Arab Americans and Indian Americans. These are attitudes that affect us in real life. Just ask any Muslim person going through airport security, chances are people are giving them the side eye and a little increased special attention because people think that they're terrorists. Now this is of course ridiculous because being Muslim or being Arab does not mean you're a terrorist. The same way that being a Christian doesn't mean that you're like those nut jobs in the Westboro Baptist Church that picket gay weddings and do a bunch of really just disgusting, despicable things. The bad actions of one person that you happen to share a characteristic with, like your race or your religion or your, where you're from, does not reflect everybody of your background. It's absolutely ridiculous. And come to think of it, why is it that people of color are labeled terrorists, but white people aren't? Sandy Hook, Unabomber, Oklahoma City bombing, Columbine, all white guys committing acts of violence against innocent people. But instead, our media says, well, what went wrong? He was such a nice guy. No one saw it coming. He was a loner and had a tough life. Do you see a pattern here? As it turns out, I'm glad that this conversation has been spawned by Miss America because her platform is actually empowering women, overcoming stereotypes, and breaking barriers. So what better way to go ahead and do that than start a conversation surrounding the controversy over her win? Now, of course, whenever I talk about racism or serious issues on my channel, I get tons of people that come out of the woodwork and accuse me of actually perpetuating racism. You're giving it way too much attention. Stop talking about it. We're all American. The only people in this country that actually have the luxury of ignoring racism or not talking about it are white people. People of color are the ones that actually deal with the consequences, so yeah, we gotta talk about it in order to fix the problem. Just this week, Jonathan Farrell, a 24-year-old man, was shot and killed after he got in a horrible car accident, climbed out of his car, knocked on some doors looking for help, and of course, because he was a black man, the people inside assumed that he was trying to break into their house, they called the police, and the police shot and killed him. So again, 
People of color are regularly stereotyped, not just online, but offline too. Whether people assume that we're terrorists, or thieves, or rapists, or murderers, there are serious consequences. So when the conversation happens online, it's not just people hiding behind pseudonyms and Twitter handles. These are actually ideas that are being perpetuated by our culture and have serious consequences. So we need to talk about them. And I'm not talking about it so that I can have a pity party for myself or engage in oppression alone. Olympics or make you feel like a bad person. I just want to educate you because our school system is not doing its job. Unfortunately, our kids are being taught that racism stopped after slavery, that racism stopped after the civil rights movement, and it didn't. Our country was built on white supremacy. I mean, it was literally built by black people, built on the backs of people of color. So we have to talk about this stuff because I can't make changes by myself. I need you to do it with me. Help us make this country and this world a better place by educating yourselves and each other. So a big, big thank you to Miss America for getting the ball rolling and starting this super important conversation that is absolutely going to help us overcome stereotypes and break barriers. Damn kind of good at this. As always, the things that I've talked about in this video have been linked in the video description box if you want any more information. And actually, the thing that inspired this week's video is a new show that I'm involved in called Instant Response Team over on the Lives with Meredith Vieira YouTube channel. It's a weekly show on Thursdays at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will link on screen and in the video description box so you can check it out. Don't forget I'm posting new videos every Friday, so make sure to subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye!